Okay, just wanted to do a little video here, and I'll do another one probably in a wee minute. So just to prove my point, where it's busier, but in real life. So here I've got seven of the gang. Okay, we have little Wheelo, little deaf head. She's got remote collar on. We have Hugo. Yeah, it's huge. We huge. Huge in. Ready? Good. Right. Okay, got Jet. We have Rex. You've seen Rex. We have Junior and Stitch at the back. And we have Crazy Little Pippa as well. Pippa's a wee staffy. That's got great chase drive. She does. Hey, Stitch. Not quite like you. You don't really have any chase drive. You, but I don't know what you would chase. Probably no, absolutely nothing. A bit of food. You would chase food, but not living food. You couldn't be bored with that. So it's just to show you how important it is to have. Even So a lot of people would say, you know, numbers is an issue with dogs. So I've got seven dogs with me um, walking. And the reality is as well, I've trained these dogs. So these aren't. You know, dog walking clients, dogs, or anything like that. But just to show you how we have control. So up here is going to be a road. Um, just let me cross over a little road. Let me cross over a bit. You want your communication with your dog to not be negotiable. Okay, that doesn't mean it's harsh or nasty. But dog takes your opinion seriously. So, get okay. go. go. And I can, if I want to recall them in, to and we, it doesn't matter what was there in front of us right now, these guys are that good that I'll in Hugo, Pip, Jet, Lilo follows him. I haven't tapped Lilo, heel, heel. I'm not making it, it's not perfect, but heel, heel, good. See, look, pushing the boundaries, Hugo. Thinks there's a game going on, which I do this as a game as well. You'll recall call them in and then you release them fast, let them have a run around. To where we have is a heel. Good. Okay, to make it very safe. In this case, we're coming to the road. Now, I can't, I don't really have that option for little Lilo, so I'm going to do it with just switched hands. Hugo, heel. Switched hands, grab a. Uh, Mini educator here, okay. For Lilo, maybe gonna try and get Lilo to go out in front. So, I'm gonna call her. I'll just tap the collar. You see that I tap, boom, good. Here you go, heel. So, it's just the same one as a audio response uh, communication, one is a physical communication. We touch, yep, heel. She knows what it means, very respectful. Look at the big man walking up front. Like he should. Like he should. Heel. Heel. To make it not negotiable. Okay, so I'm sitting my. It's going to be a bit boring just to be second, just as I'm filming, but I have to absolutely be common sense as well. Heel. Heel. As we pass roads and things like that, you know? Wait. Wait. So you want that communication to be on you rather than on anything else, you know? Dog there, doesn't match. Heel. Eh, eh. Pippa, heel. Okay, three. Three to go over. Lovely big retriever. <laughs> How are you doing? So it doesn't really matter what the distraction is. You should be able to control. And um, there would also be nothing wrong, of course, there with me um, putting the dogs on leads and crossing. I've got a whole bundle of slip leads here just for easiness. They all understand least pressure and walk perfectly. So I'm just show you real life, you know. So I'm gonna I'm gonna say this is why I always do name command mark as well. So she goes away around there. I'm just gonna shout Hugo. Come. Hugo! The whistle is this. Come. Jet being the Muppet. Huge. In. 
Hugo, come. Hugo, come. Good. Okay. Great. So it's really important that you just have that control. Very balanced dog. So let's see, you get to see here. So we span your way up at the top there. It isn't with us. You'll notice none of my dogs are running over to the dog. In fact, none of them are even saying hello to the dog. They're just gaze walking by like everybody else. See so Hugo do the same. Big Rottweiler Jet will do the same. Hiya. Morning, half running. That's it. Well, Merry Christmas. <laughs> Come on, Stitchy. Good job, buddy. Get one, boy. There's <laughs> a boy. All right, no. When's this year going to go back up? So we've just shown real life, okay, that um, you can ask for all the obedience in the, want, the world, guys, but that doesn't mean you have balance. So I'd much rather have a dog that isn't, okay, necessarily knowing, sit down, stay, paw, roll over, lie down at 500 metres, and, and there's nothing wrong with those things, absolutely not. But don't ever really think that your dog is balanced because it can do those things. They're two completely different things. <sighs> completely different? Okay, that's maybe a bit unfair, but they absolutely can layer together and they should. But they just because your child can be good at gymnastics, it doesn't mean they're, they're not out stealing cars at the weekends, you know? Go on. So, the rea this is reality. This is Ballet Country Park here. But focus more, We want what we do here is we focus more on having a dog balanced rather than majorly knowing how to do gymnastics, if that makes sense. So we can have dogs that are even from dog fighting that have killed dogs, that have probably nearly been killed themselves many times, to them being social and friendly and uh, respectful. Um, you know, the, and if I, that man with the spaniel, for example, I'd seen him, maybe called his dog in, dog went beside him, I would just called mine in. But we're just being, this is one of the benefits of the UK, to be honest, is it's super... There are so many super dog owners. Right, let's go. Okay, so the dogs should be in tune with us. There's people up there, bikes, whatever. Yep. And uh, you've got to be also respectful of this big thing, big Rottweiler. You know, I'm walking right now. People judge breed. I've got two Frenchies, four Staffies, and a Rottweiler. So people judge breeds as well, you know. Morning, afternoon. So it's really important that you. We'll do it with, um, you see how Jet will just walk right by, because people can be unsure of big breeds, but what dogs learn is to give space. Hiya. Hiya. To be super respectful, because guess what, if you have a good a good dog, it doesn't really matter the breed, your dog is super respectful. <whistles> you go, Jet. Over. Look at this, Chris, look at this big dope. Jet. Stupid. Come here. Good job. Good job. Break. Yay, break. Huge. Yo. Ready, go. Okay, so it's all about controlling the energy level of the dog. But the dog naturally should just be more like a, a Rex or a Stitch here, even best as Junior. Sauntering along. Okay. But our total, and this is just a bit of free time for them. We've done about. 30 minutes there of walking to heel, uh, on leash, some on leash, some off leash, but either way, all to heel. Um, purely because it was to come get to the country park and by roads and all that, so it's just common sense. And now they're having some free time, still with boundaries, and then they're going to go back to um, structure, back to heel in a minute. But just wanted to show you reality. Okay, so always trust a trainer by the job they can do. You know, both their own dogs. Don't let them give you excuses, you know. Hiya. The wee Pip, she's got, she's got an eye on something. Let's see. Pip! Yo! Okay, so. Good job, darling. Come here. Pip. Ready, break. Okay, so. It's all under control. Have under control. Hugo! Boom. Poof's in the pudding, guys. And I don't need to rely on the obedience to go buy other dogs. Totally trust the dogs because they're balanced. Good job, break.